Hey dolls and gents, today I have a Sephora haul for you guys. I went to Sephora yesterday, and it seems like every time I go into Sephora, I always go for like one or two things, and I always end up getting a lot more because you see so many new products. For me, it's like a kid in a candy store. Like, I love makeup so much. Y'all know I love makeup, and I'm sure y'all love makeup if you're watching this channel too. But I got a few things from Sephora, and I hit VIB Rouge status for this year again which is dope. Not really. That means I spend way too much money on makeup. But let's go ahead and hop into this. Most of the products, even though I purchased yesterday, I've already used. So it's going to be like a mini review too. So the first item I picked up is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. I've been on the hunt for a new mascara. I normally just use like drugstore mascaras just because I wear false lashes almost every day. So it makes more sense for me to just get a drugstore mascara. And they expire within like three months. So... You really don't want to spend a lot of money on mascara, but this one, I think the packaging got me. The packaging is so beautiful, and it makes my lashes really dark. I love it for my bottom lashes. I used it today. Of course, you can't see my top lashes because I am wearing false lashes, but I love these for bottom lashes, and it actually makes my top lashes pretty nice too. So if y'all want me to do like a demo review on this, then just let me know in the comments down below. By the way, this mascara is $32, so it is a little bit pricey, but I feel like the formula and the brush is well worth it. Next, I picked up this primer water from Smashbox, and y'all know that I normally use the Scandinavia makeup priming spray, but I wanted to try out another product like it. So I did pick up the Smashbox one, and I've used a little bit so far. I used it to do my makeup today and yesterday, and I really like the way that my makeup is held up since using it. So I'm really happy about this purchase. And this is the small size of it. They got me at the Sephora checkout. You know how they have those small sample size products. And every time I go through them and always end up buying something. But I got the small one, so it was only $16, so not too bad. Next, I picked up another spray. This one is a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And this one is for oil control. I have used their all-nighter spray, but I wanted to try this one to see how I like it. And I have to say that it does keep the oiliness away. I love it. I used it today and I also used it yesterday and I found that my skin wasn't as oily and my makeup lasts a little bit longer. So yay. By the way, this is $30. Next, I picked up a new foundation. I got a sample size of the NARS Shirkalo foundation in New Orleans like two or three weeks ago and I've been testing it out on my skin. I really like the color and I really like the way that my skin looked with this foundation, especially for summertime. So I decided to go ahead and get the full size of it. Now this foundation is $45 and it does have one fluid ounce of product, which is pretty standard for foundation. I do love the coverage of this foundation I would say it's about a medium to full coverage you can build it up to full coverage that's what I'm wearing on my skin right now and I feel like my skin looks like really glowy really nice the color is just right but the only thing that I don't like is the fact that it doesn't come with a pump. So I'm going to have to buy one from NARS. But I'm just like, at that price point, I feel like it definitely should already come with a pump. You feel me? Like, this thing needs to have a pump on it. So if you haven't tried out this foundation and you have oily skin and you're looking for something like a little more lightweight because this doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I can't even feel it once I apply it. I highly recommend that you check this one out. So the next two items that I picked up, I was super excited about because they are highlighters and y'all know that we are obsessed with that glow for the summer. Heck, I'm obsessed with that glow like 24 seven, like my cheeks have to be gleaming. You have to be able to see me in the dark. So everyone has been using these Cover FX Enhancer Drops. I had to get my hands on this. I have not used their custom drops that you use for like foundation, but I knew that I had to pick up at least one of these. So I did pick up the shade Candlelight, which I believe is the darker of the illuminating shades. They have four different shades. I'm definitely going to go back for at least one of them. This is what the packaging looks like. So the highlighter does come in this little dropper bottle. And oh my gosh, like 
this is everything and more. I'm gonna do like a swatch for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like on the skin, but it just gives you that glow. I'm not wearing it on my cheeks right now. If I was wearing it on my cheeks right now, you would be able to see me like from a million miles away. Like this stuff is the bomb. I love it. You can use it over your foundation. You can use it over powder. You can mix it with your foundation. If you love glowy skin, you've got to check out one of these. Now, these are a little bit pricey for a highlighter. They do go for $42, but a little bit goes a long way, and I really feel like this is going to last until its expiration. It does expire in 12 months, it says, though, so you will definitely get a year's use out of this bad boy. So the last item I picked up is from Marc Jacobs, and this is their glow stick. I have been seeing this all over Instagram. I'm like, I need it in my life. The packaging is so stinking cute. It looks like a little deodorant, but it's not a deodorant. It's a highlighter. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And really, that's not the color. It does have a little bit of my foundation on it because I did wear this yesterday. But it gives the skin such a nice, like, glowing from within look. This retails for $42. So, again, it is kind of pricey. But this is a luxury item since it's from Marc Jacobs. So, it's not bad as far as being a luxury item. But I absolutely love this. And if y'all want me to do a video on this, definitely let me know. So, that's my quick Sephora haul. Normally, when I go to Sephora, I end up buying a whole bunch of items. And some of them don't even work for me. But this time, I actually love every single item that I purchased, and I'm really happy with everything. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more haul mini review videos, definitely give this a big thumbs up, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye!